main body was built off of a Primaris captain and the client wanted him to be sort of a headhunter with some orc heads. So we have the main body, we added a uh, some cloth here for the uh, tabard. He already had the bottom part so we just used that. We added a little bit of a liner to this plate on the leg to this greave um, and then we had a chain and a purity seal there with a little skull. We had the ribbons on the side here and a turning shield added with some parchment over the shoulder. The arm was repositioned. This is actually a pistol hand from uh, I believe the intercessors. The orcs were a little bit of a challenge. We had to take some very flexible wire and loop it into the hand. And then we covered it in green stuff and then sculpted the hair on top. So we've got some stray hair coming out of the orc heads. And then the rear of it has some orc meat and guts and innards there. The pistol holster has some parchment wrapped around it with a Templar purity seal. Then we added just three studs on the legs just to add a little something there. The necklace is some three mil chain and then the crux is from this same kit. The cape is lightly glued in place so the client can remove it to paint before final assembly. And then last part of this build was the little buddy, little cherub, who also has his own cute little tunic. And he's following his master, carrying an orc head chained up. So this piece is from the new sister's kit. Uh, we removed all that chain and added some real chain wrapped around this orc head with some orky bits and guts hanging out the back so he just follows over the left shoulder the uh, customer asked for a large axe with some trailing parchment and this is what we came up with let's uh, zoom you in a little bit so the axe head is from conversion world the cross on the back is actually uh, the original sword. This is the guard from the sword. The blade was removed and a little piece of it was left and filed down to size. The hand and forearm are the original sword arm to this miniature, which was cut and then spliced onto a arm from the intercessor's box, the one that is holding the gun up, the bolter up in the left arm with a sling over the forearm. The same 
uh, arm had its shoulder cut, repositioned, and then glued back in place to give it the proper angle. The haft here is a paper clip with some green stuff parchment wrapped around it with a bit of green stuff here and here for purity seals. And then it is capped off with the same pommel from the sword, I believe. So there's the axe. The shoulder is from Pop Goes the Monkey. This is just over a intercessor pauldron. Pretty, uh, pretty simple. The backpack is the original backpack to that miniature. So this is just an interceptor captain, I believe, a Primaris captain um, backpack. And then we added some candles. There will be a tutorial up soon on the Patreon for candles. Um, they were made out of resin sprue. There are two heads. The customer asked for one head to look like a Primaris Templar, but with horns. Apparently he has a uh, homebrew lore around a character called Red Devil. And it's basically a Templar who has devil horns on his helmet. So what we did was we took a Chaos Warrior helmet, just from the Fantasy Chaos Warriors, and we added a base plate. We opened up the eyes a little bit and put some actual eyes in there. The little crux over the forehead. We trimmed down the horns, repositioned them, drilled them into the forehead, and then green stuffed the joint there. There's uh, four dots to form a cross on the mouth, and then he's got the rest of it built out like a regular helmet. And we also have an alternative that he didn't ask for, but I thought would look uh, nice in case he wants to run it without that helmet. We also have a Primaris, a Primaris head with a beard, and we did some scarring right here. So here we have the miniature assembled and we'll go over composition. So originally the axe was planned to be in the right hand and the right hand was going to be holding the heads. However, as the build proceeded, we kind of figured out that the heads weren't going to fit in between the knee and the cape. So we decided to bring them over here so we could have, um, we could have more room. Also, his posture, where he's kind of leaning to the right as he's stepping onto this rubble here, makes it look like he's kind of proceeding in this direction, right? And so he's kind of dragging the, the heads along behind him. He's got his axe in this hand, which nicely tucks behind uh, the leg in between the cape and the, the knee. Um, and so his pose sitting on the rock just made more sense. His shoulders um, are kind of diagonal like this. And so to have the axe out this way, uh, it just didn't make sense with his body weight, uh, weighted the way that it was. Then when we decided to add the cherub, I wanted it to be over the right shoulder so that we could have um, a clear communication that this character is collecting heads, but that his little friend here, his little buddy, is helping him in that task, right? He's bringing up the rear with, with one, one more head. And that kind of helps balance out the weight. So when you have your travel with the focus, essentially your eyes start at the face, they go to the axe, the axe travels down into the knee, you just catch all this, and then it travels around this way, where the next point of interest is the head, which then would go up, up to the cherub, into the shoulder, and back to the uh, to the candles and the and the head. So I think all in all, the composition turned out pretty well. Very happy with it, 
And uh, this was an actual, this is a pretty fun project. So I hope you enjoyed this, this look at it. And thanks for watching. If you like this sort of material and you'd like to learn how to sculpt, uh, please join our Patreon. We have tutorials. We have two a month where we go over all aspects of this process. We go over green stuff. We go over pinning, um, weapon building, all sorts of things. So if you'd like to have a look, please come and join us.